We'll pay you $3.95 an hour. And I said, sold. You changed sheets and beds and gave them baths and all of those kinds of things. Most of the general surgeons made big incisions for all abdominal surgery, and now there's no incision at all. When we join together, it's amazing what can be accomplished. In the 1950s, people like you and I accomplished what seemed impossible. They built a hospital in their community. Until 1958, when North Kansas City Memorial Hospital opened, residents traveled downtown for their care. The need for closer medical care motivated the community. They started with the chili supper that raised $1,000. From there, interest and momentum to raise funds increased and included auctions, bake sales, door-to-door -door solicitations, and yes, even payroll deductions. Newspaper clippings share the story of an Avondale resident whose family gave $100 for the building effort. He said that was a lot of money for his family, but they were happy to contribute. His community needed a hospital. And the donations were not just money. Residents even gave blood to stock the blood bank so the hospital could open on March 30th, 1958. Whether giving money, purchasing chili, donating blood, we're grateful for their efforts and we proudly continue their legacy. Today, our philanthropy team builds on our history with the community as they raise funds so we can continue our mission of providing hope and healing to every life we touch. Many people have helped us fulfill our mission over the years. Reminisce with us as we hear from a few of them. What was nursing like in the 70s, 1974? Every new nurse started on the night shift and every new nurse started in med surg. You couldn't graduate from nursing school and go straight to ER or ICU or even orthopedics, I don't suppose. I started practice in 1977, so I've been on staff here. This is my 45th year. There's been many changes and probably more changes than there are things the same. There's just lots of innovations and ways we practice that are so much different than they were 45 years ago. The uh, hospitalization times for all illnesses now are so much less than they were back then. I can remember when I first started practice, people would come in the hospital for a physical. I came to this hospital and joined the staff in uh, approximately 1978. The role of the nurse in patient care over the years of when I first started in nursing and now is like night and day. It is phenomenally different. There were a lot of things that you couldn't do, didn't know how, you were never trained in that. You were trained for basic bedside care as a nurse that was taking care of the patients in the room, etc., and given medicines. Then it gradually began to increase as we got into a more technical arena, nurses began to be given more responsibility. We all looked alike. We all had uh, long straight hair parted down the middle. Of course, we had to wear it up and we had our little white caps on from our school. And we wore rather short white dresses, but we also had white hose and white looking orthopedic shoes. On the night shift, it really, wasn't too bad. <laughs> I mean, as far as the work. We had people that had their third molars removed and were there for sigmoidoscopies. You might have eight or 10 patients on the night shift, but somehow you got them all settled down and from probably midnight to four, believe it or not, we sat around the nurse's station and read the newspaper and <laughs> <laughs> drink 7-Up and, <laughs> and smoke cigarettes. <laughs> it was very different, I think, in the relationship nurses had with doctors. They were the doctor, you were the nurse. You didn't, you know, interact with them or ask them questions or make suggestions. That was not expected. Nurses were never allowed to look at and make decisions based on lab results, say, that a physician 
would get. Uh, you'd get the paper copy and then you'd have to call the physician's office. And nowadays the physician can look at it in his office and then he can call in what he wants to do or the nurse can call him. And it's a more collaborative method of patient care. You know, I always read the nurse's notes. That's the first thing I do when I open the chart up because the nurses wrote notes in handwriting just like I wrote my note in handwriting. I mean, it's a cooperative deal. I mean, the nurses take care of them 24 hours a day. I mean, you need the input from the nurse when you talk to a patient because you don't know what happened overnight without talking to them. The patient experience was quite good. <laughs> and of course it needed to be if you're gonna be here a week or 10 days. And we did have a beauty lady that came with this pink apparatus that she, on wheels that she could shampoo your hair and uh, roll it up because everybody, of course, used rollers back then. This hospital's always been, at least from the time I started practice in 1977, till now it's been a full service hospital and we don't have to just send people to the city, to other facilities. It was so valuable to have the seasoned nurses that oriented me as a new nurse. And I thank them and bless them every day. The patience they showed was just phenomenal, and I always aspired to grow up and be like them. You know, there's a limit to what you can do at a house call, but certainly when people get on hospice and they get too feeble to get to the office, I'll, I'll go out and see them. I feel it's, it's my obligation to take care of my patients wherever they are, and if it means you have to drive to their house, you drive to their house. I mean, I don't mind doing that.